Today we have two Raspberry Pi 3 boards with us in our lab. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 was released th at the beginning of this month. It is based on a new Broadcom BCM2837 SoC with four ARM Cortex-A53 cores operating at 1.2 GHz. Uh, just like the Raspberry Pi 2, it's still fabricated on a 40 nanometer process and the significant change with this board is the onboard Wi-Fi. So, and then they also moved the LED and the Wi-Fi around. So, um, this board runs extremely hot in our testing and we we're going to demonstrate some issues we ran into uh, while testing this board. So, we're going to open two windows. We're booted into Raspbian from uh, February 28th. So in one window, we're going to monitor the temperature that the SOC reports. And in the other window, we're going to run a benchmark with four threads loading the CPU only. So right now at idle, it's reporting 43 degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius. We also have a thermal camera attached to a phone and we're going to monitor the SOC uh, as we run the benchmark. So we're going to start the benchmark now. So you see the temperature ra rises very quickly from, uh, from idle. So right now within 10 seconds, it's already at 75 degrees Celsius, which is significantly hot for uh, even uh, a cell phone SOC. So within 20 seconds, we're at 80 degrees Celsius. And then I don't know if you can see in the back, the video memory is already corrupted. So if you move the mouse, it sort of redraws the screen. Uh, we're at 83 Celsius. The SOC still reports 67 Celsius. Um, now we're at 85 Celsius and the SOC reports at 70 Celsius. The HDMI signal is already corrupted. And if I leave my mouse and don't do anything, it'll do that. And the way to recover from that is to move my mouse so that the video memory is redrawn. But it doesn't help much. Um, so it's climbing steadily. Now it's at 85, 86. If, if we don't get that rainbow screen, sometimes we're able to hit 100. Um, depends on the run. Right now it's already hitting 90 degrees Celsius. Uh, the SOC is reporting 73 degrees Celsius. Hopefully the Raspberry Pi Foundation will fix this in a future firmware revision, which I'm sure they will, because um, for, for it to have so much issues running just a uh, simple benchmark for a few seconds is pretty, um, really holds back this, this board in terms of usability in the field. So uh, given this information, we highly recommend that you get the heat sinks that you see here. Um, the one is for the CPU and one is for the LAN chip. Uh, they reduce the temperatures by around, uh, I wanna say 20, degree, 30 degree, 20 to 30 degrees Celsius uh, without any active cooling. And with active cooling, the heat sinks can keep the board under 50 degrees Celsius. Um, and if you, are thinking about putting an enclosure on your Raspberry Pi 3, we highly recommend that you get an enclosure with active cooling because uh, there is significant heat buildup and you will experience corruption. So there you have it. Um, this is still corrupt. Let's see. It's report. It's going back down. The HDMI signal is still corrupted. It's not. Uh, even though the SOC is around 50 degrees Celsius this problem isn't going away. It's, it doesn't go away until you reboot. So um, we're not sure of exactly of the nature of this problem, but um, it, it does, it's a really, sh it's a real showstopper. Uh, hopefully in the next Raspbian image that the Raspberry Pi Foundation releases, they'll put a new firmware into the, uh, into the boot process where, and limiting issues that we see today. Well, there you have it. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like it if it's, I hope you found this informational.